Hey guys, welcome back again. So, I just got the newest hacker box in the mail. So, we'll get it opened up and kind of go through it real quick. This is hacker box 0092 in line. Let's see what we get. So, we got some parts an Arduino Uno. Another set of parts. An RP2040-1. By Waveshare. An HD video converter. Take a closer look at what exactly this is. So it's HDMI to AV. So it takes HDMI and trans puts it out as AV. Okay. I'm looking at the pictures, I, I was just assuming it'd be the other way around. Interesting. Get that box back up. And then we've got a hacker boxes bracelet, little silicone rubber bracelet thing. It's cool. And then a custom PCB, the video experimental experimenter. It'll be interesting to see what we're gonna do with all this. And then our sticker for the month. It's a cool little sticker. I like that a lot, actually. And of course, our collectible hacker box card. Video sync separator. The little RP2040-1 board and its breakout. Arduino Uno and wiring diagram for USB to USB. All right, so we got this Raspberry Pi, or really it's not Raspberry Pi, it's just the chip, RP2040 man in the middle device here from the hacker box. And I've got, an, I've got it plugged into my keyboard and a notepad open so we can kind of see what it does. This is just one of the example scripts that, you, that they make. So all it does is turn uppercase and lowercase and lowercase and uppercase. So it just switches the case of whatever you're typing. This is just kind of an example of things that can be done. So
So it doesn't want to work with my right shift, but it works with my left shift. And I use my right shift more than anything. So for some reason it's not quite working for me and it may be just be my you know, custom keyboard. But it's an interesting little thing. And if you turn caps lock on, everything is lowercase. Turn it off, everything's uppercase. So it's a cool little intro to the man in the middle attack on a keyboard or an HID device. There are a few others that would be interesting to play with and I'm excited to see what others come out with and I want to take a look at this discussion on storing the data into a uh, the flash memory which should mean that it can work as a keylogger as well, which would make sense. So that's something really cool to think about. All right, so we got everything together and we've specifically got this video experimental shield together. But sadly, there's nothing I can show testing it because I just do not have a display anymore or a VGA to HDMI converter. So I have no way to show what all this does. So I wanted to go through and look at some of the stuff they had on here about it. So maybe we can see some of the stuff it does. So here's the YouTube specifically for this. And this is just one thing it can do. It can overlay 
something onto a video. So there's there seems to be quite a bit what you can do with it. So here it kind of runs down what you can do with it. You can text overlay overlay text and graphics onto video signal from a camera, DVR, DVD player, etc. Capture low res video image frames from the display of or video processing. Perform object detection. That'd be interesting to see for sure. Decode the closed captioning or XDS. Basically, data that's embedded in the t the TV broadcast, and it's compatible with all this. It's, des it's designed for the Arduino Uno, which came in this kit. So let's look a little further down, see if they say anything more about it that might be interesting to see. So here's some of the code. So here's an example of some of the ex um, example libraries or example code that it comes with it. So this is video frame capture, text and graphics overlay, computer vision, detect bright or dark objects within a video signal. That's cool. TV blastered. Oh, that's cool. You can sh you'll be able you can take and shoot at the display with a nunchuck. From like a Wii, decode uh, closed captioning, visualize TV di di dialogue using closed captioning data, and use it as a MIDI controller. So it's definitely an interesting product. I, I really wish I had something that would work with it. This changer here just goes from HDMI to VGA or AV. I need one that also goes AV back to HDMI or something like that or just an older display which I do not have. So coming back over here we have the Arduino Uno and the video experimenter device. I really wish I could play more around with it. I, I do plan to get an old TV or something that I can just use this with just to play with. It definitely seems like a fun little project. And then we have our man in the middle device as we saw. It's a cool little project. It's a great intro into some of these devices. You see very similar devices like this on Hack 5 for 50 plus dollars. But this was just a simple one. It came in our hacker box. I'm sure the WaveShare RP2041 isn't that expensive and I'm sure even if this uh, extra PCB is not available I'm sure it's easy to make or could be easily designed yourself. Um, Hackerbox has been getting a lot better about posting some of their PCBs so even if you can't get it from Hackerboxes or can't find it anywhere else maybe they'll make the Gerber files available and we can go that way. But yeah definitely a fun project this is a fun one for sure. I like this little exploity kind of devices. Um, just a reminder that the giveaway is going on. We're about half a week since I've posted that video. I posted it on last Friday. And we have a week and a half left before I will pick a winner. And again, to get subscribed to that, it is a full-blown War Driver by Jay Hewitt that I will be giving away in a case and everything. And to just be entered to win that, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, subscribe. And if you would, uh, like the video for me. Thanks. We'll see you next time.